Quick update video on my DIY power wall. I have changed a few things that weren't working quite the way I wanted them to. Um, so I'll run through what I've changed. But first, uh, let me give you a quick overview of the power wall. First, we have our six kilowatt LG um, battery pack. This is a 7S pack. And they're all, uh, you know, each each pack is is 80 batteries all uh, paralleled up and then there's seven of them in series for 29.2 volts 7s um, that all runs through a BMS over here through a shunt and then over to the inverter and then I also have my solar coming in that's that's uh, 400 watts of solar coming in I did add two more panels outside so I now have 400 watts outside so I've got 400 watts coming in through the make sky blue um, charge controller and then into the back into the battery pack. Um, I have two meters here. Uh, this one is just a temporary one that I unplug and plug back in whenever I want to have secondary balance leads which power it up and I use this to do a um, external balance if I need to and to just monitor some of the batteries. This is the permanent power meter. I actually changed this one because I actually blew up two of the old kind um, the old kinds do not like um, some of the sparks that you get when you uh, disconnect the power or turn the power back on and the inverter still has charge capacities. The old power, I actually blew up two of my old power meters and I've just switched to this one and um, so far I'm liking this one a lot. It's actually got a, the display's a little smaller but it gives more information and um, can be programmed for your maximum battery and minimum battery. Um, settings so it can um, so you can see your state of charge visually um, so far I like that meter and it hasn't blown up yet so that's a start um, I also changed my main breaker that used to be a hundred amp breaker these are name brand breakers these are Drock breakers which is a good brand but that used to be a hundred amps and um, when I ran my my uh, portable air conditioning over there um, that would heat up and after a few minutes it would trip and finally I realized you know that's right if although I'm only running like 60 amps through the system at full load that's that's rated for 100 amps at 12 volts this is a 30 volt system so realistically you know if you if you convert it to wattage that thing's probably only rated for 30 amps at 30 volts um, so I have switched to the uh, 250 amp version um, and again that's 250 amps at 12 volts so that's probably more like 100 amps at 30 volts so I think that's uh, better suited for my system and that has had no problems with the air conditioning I've run the air conditioning without issue um, and no problems also over here I have a new inverter I used to have a 1500 watt inverter um, the problem was the air conditioning when it kicks on temporarily hits 2000 plus watts and although the other um, inverter said it you know it had a surge rating of 3000 watts it really couldn't handle the surge of the air conditioning so I've upgraded to the uh, two and a half thousand watt pure sine wave um, inverter and um, same brand as before just their bigger one and it's a slightly different they've come up with a new design but I like this brand. I've bought many of their inverters and they're great inverters. I just upgraded to two and a half thousand watts. And now we can take our air conditioning. Oh, would help if I turned on the inverter. actually see we're pulling uh, 1.2 kilowatts right there and it um, fired up just fine and the new inverter wo is working great um, so I changed the inverter uh, changed the breaker changed the meter um, add a little more solar outside and besides that everything's working great I'm very happy with the BMS it's working great pack is staying pretty balanced um, uh, I did move everything down a little bit 
because I'm actually, this is actually six feet off the ground and I couldn't actually see the solar inverter when I'm just standing on the ground. So I've, I brought everything, it used to be right up the top, I brought everything down um, so I can see the meter and know how much um, solar I'm pulling at any point in time. Um, there's one other thing I've done. See this long wire that uh, extends out of the um, out of the solar charge controller? That runs over here to my workbench. That runs over here to my workbench. Why did I run a solar connection over to my workbench? Well, because I have my portable uh, solar generator. This is also a 7S system, 2.2 kilowatts. And since it's also a 7S system, I can plug it into the, um, I can plug it into the solar um, whenever I want and um, don't even have to change any settings on the solar charge controller and the solar will start to charge this instead of the main pack. Um, and so that's been working great. Um, charging this up has been a breeze off the, uh, off the, off the main uh, inverter over there.